Having held several honorable posts, ranging from the manager of the Davis Cup team to the vice president of the International Lawn Tennis Club of India, PL Reddy today is a top man in the city's tennis circle. PL Reddy, the former Secretary General of the All India Tennis Association of India, did his schooling at the Venkata Raja High School in Nellore. It was this school that gave him the opportunity to explore the various disciplines of sport. At the VR High School, being a small town high school, it has the advantage of having exposure to various sports. There was, there was soccer, hockey and uh, tennis as well as volleyball. But one thing which has been added on because of circumstances existing at that time, being war time, was uh, baseball, which was played by the US troops who were stationed nearby. B.L. Reddy came to Madras in the year 1944 and joined the B.A. Mathematics course at the Madras Christian College. Seleyur, Bishop Haber and St. Thomas were the three coveted hostel wards at MCC. P.L. Reddy, however, was not amongst the fortunate few who managed to get accommodation in any of these. As a result, he had to stay at the Sarfali building in Broadway and travel by train every single day to Thambaram. I have no other option than being outside the three halls of Madras Christian College because I was not given an opportunity to get admission there. Nor did I have any opportunity to stay in a place like YMCA, which was being allotted to those students who are studying law. But all the same, I was not uh, unhappy in going from Parktown to Thambaram. There were no skyscrapers at the time and there was no question of uh, any other impediments on the way. It was a rural atmosphere. And the best part of it was, it was the amount which is involved, which is 13 rupees for three months. It was only during his second year at MCC that he finally managed to get a room at the Salyur Hall. And with a life sans all the train travel, he had ample time to indulge in his two favourite sports, tennis and soccer. There was a lot of uh, prominence attached to sports in Madras Christian College. And soccer used to be the prime target for encouragement. The two teams which were prominent in the intercollegiate were Madras Christian College and Madras Medical College. And our uh, Principal Dr. A.J. Boyd used to be there on every Saturday and Sunday watching the matches and to encourage the team. After his studies at MCC, P.L. Reddy went on to do his B.E. at the Anamala University and then decided to head to the United Kingdom for his post-graduation. Those are the days when there were no other recourse but have the sea voyage. The fares were only 147 pounds when pound was only 7 rupees. After I landed in London, I had to find a club where I could play the uh, tennis. Fortunately, the Roehampton Club had good courts and I was able to pursue there, provided I have played against the captain and the performance is watched. I lost it at 6-4, but all the same, I have been given an opportunity to be the member of the club. From then on, I didn't look back because I wanted to pursue tennis and did the same by staying back in London. PL Reddy's return to India was a little adventure in itself. As he was short for money, he decided to board a cargo com passenger vessel from Naples and sail for 21 days before he got to Madras. Upon his return, he joined Parry & Co as a management trainee and stayed with the company for 20 years before he retired as a general manager. During my tenure in Parry & Company, the tradition used to be to receive a blue sheet from the chairman of the board of directors to enable you to attend the lunch. And it was also a tradition 
that code of conduct should be observed by having a suit or a coat. And during Christmas time, there used to be the sweets called Russian toffee made by Nelikupam factory to be given to those who are top executives. I was fortunately one of them. I miss those days. PL Reddy is a firm believer in the fact that the longevity of a person to a large extent depends on the activities he carries out during his lifetime. At 83, I still play tennis, but to play a hard game of tennis and go under the cold shower is a feeling that is, cannot be given by any other game. I still love that feeling. I can hardly even jog for 10 minutes. I wonder what I'll do at 83. That is, if I even make it to 83. Up next, we have Srinivas Murthy, a senior music conductor who has been orchestrating success for nearly three decades now. With one wave of the baton, he creates unforgettable melodies both on stage and in the studio. A tune composed is first written as notes. And translating these notes into live music is Srinivas Murthy. Right from arranging the music with instruments, transitions, modulations and rhythmic patterns, Murthy does it all with one hand on the computer keyboard and the other clutching a baton. This goes way back uh, 1950. I was born in 52. Somewhere around 56 or 57 I started learning violin. I was just four years old when I started learning violin. And the journey continued along with my college, my academics too. Went on to learn classical music for about 17 years, Indian classical. Then switched over to Hindustani since I was already uh, working as an accompanying violinist to another Hindustani singer. And started taking classes from her. And that went on for some time, four or five years. Then again, one Mr. Charu Chandra, I was, learned Western music for two, three years there in Bangalore. I'm born and brought up in Bangalore. Then. And then, came to Madras in 78 as an assistant to another music director called as Sita Ramaraju from Bangalore. Of course, Murthy is able to do it all because of his sound knowledge of music, a love for which began in Bangalore when he was a four-year-old. Murthy's talent was tapped by many a musician, from the legendary Ilaya Raja to Kannada music director Rajan Nagendra. But it is renowned S.P. Bala Subramanian who plays a huge role in Murthy's life. Meanwhile, SPB was also doing a couple of films as, as a music director. He was working as a music director, he was composing for films, Telugu films. Then he took me as his assistant. And one day, his regular conductors could not make it to the recording session. He was not well or so. And asked me if I could take over. He said, if you have the guts to do that, I will manage. I said, okay, let's try it out. Since then I became a conductor, it's, it was somewhere around uh, early 80s. It was from the film Tudikkum Karangal. Murthy's baton works like a magic wand. It not only captures the pulse of the music director, but simultaneously reproduces it through the musicians. We call it perfect harmony. Murthy has worked with Chakravarti, S.A. Rajkumar, Vidya Sagar, Ause Pachan, etc. Although Murthy has met many composers, many musicians and many singers, but there is one keyboard player who always intrigued him. Those days when I was working for so many music directors, Mr. Rahman was also working with us as in the capacity of a keyboard player. He used to bring a computer with him and he was meddling with it all the time. Whenever he's not doing this song record, I mean song, some pertaining to this song recording, he is doing always, wearing his headphone and doing something on his, uh, his, on his computer. That's when I was a little curious about it, inquisitive. So then started sitting down next to him and watch, watching what he was doing. 
He is the one who first brought a music computer, a computer made only for music production, from somewhere, I think from Hong Kong or somewhere. He was working on it. In the sense, he was also familiarizing with the computers those days. The way synthesizer was there, he was a he was a A class computer synthesizer player, keyboard player. But then when I showed interest in this, and, and sometime after that, maybe a year later or so, he was upgrading himself for the next stage of another computer. And that was called as C1 or something. That's when he called me and asked me if I, if I am interested in his old computer. I said, yes, why not? Then you'll have to teach me that. He gave me that computer and then not only that, he taught me also. Then I was meddling with it for some time, some time, maybe in a year or so, or two years or so. And that's how, that's how both of us found interest in each other. Though the number of musicians playing in an orchestra has dwindled from 100 to about 40, this upgraded conductor is still keeping the beauty of live music alive. When we come back on the other side, we introduce you to some of the city's young and bold accessories designers.